In less than an hour, UF Health Gainesville will begin vaccinating their high priority health care workers with the Pfizer and BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine. 4,000 doses arrived yesterday. Joining us now is UF Health Shands Hospital CEO Ed Jimenez. Ed, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. So do these health care workers see this vaccine as a virtual shot of hope? Oh, absolutely. There is a wave of optimism in Gainesville that is just tremendous. Uh, our staff for nearly nine months have been doing the best they can, fighting the fight and uh, often wondering when is the end. And I, I think there's a lot more clarity now. This is a, a virtual war and this is a weapon for them. Does it help them prevent the spread to patients that they're treating? Uh, no, you know, you know, the beauty of, of learning about COVID has been that hospitals across the country, certainly here in Gainesville, we've learned how the transmission happens. And so we've been protecting ourselves and our patients almost since day one. So this is much less about protecting our patients, but really about moving towards a world where we're not worried about the virus across our communities. So for so long, these healthcare workers have been fighting to save lives and have talked about lives lost. In, in, in some ways, uh, a, a day where they're turning the tide, is, is this a day where they can talk about um, a day where they're saving lives with this vaccine? I think they're talking about how life can return to normal uh, in, the, in the not too distant future. Um, and by virtue of that, we will all save lives. Uh, I believe all of our doctors and nurses will celebrate the day when there are fewer, fewer patients in our hospital with COVID. And I think this puts us on that pathway. Safe to say they're not relieved yet, but relief is coming. Cautious optimism, but excitement. Yeah, definitely. These frontline workers are also parents, their brothers, their sisters, they have grandparents. Uh, does it provide them some modicum of relief in knowing that they can go home after they get this vaccine and it provides a shield for them and they can go home knowing that there's a bit of safety for their families as well? Oh, absolutely. You know, it's worn on all of us in leadership recognizing that our people come to work every day, deal with the virus and deal with just sick patients and then go home and have to figure out how to resume normal life, which is complicated. So this is one more step towards feeling comfortable at home. And then once there's enough vaccine for the community, then there'll be a, a big sense of relief. We talk about this a lot. There are a lot of people who are hesitant to get this vaccine. They say, well, it came about very quickly. And I think one of the things they don't understand is that scientists have been working toward a vaccine for coronavirus for a long time. And the fact of the matter is that the vaccine that they've been working on is one that they can tailor to a specific kind of coronavirus. And that's why they were able to bring it to market so quickly. Is there any hesitation on the part of the people you've talked to who are going to get that vaccine today, tomorrow, and over the next couple of days? Oh, not at all. Uh, you know, uh, at the University of Florida, you know, I'm fortunate. I am surrounded every day by some of the world's most famous scientists. And so I get to ask questions in the hallways. And there is a level of confidence in the process to get us to the vaccine, as well as what we think it'll impact society. So uh, I don't hear any hesitation. In fact, when I'm allowed and I'm way down the list, uh, I will be taking my vaccine. And for the people who are hesitant and to the anti-vaxxers, what would you say to them? Well, I, my advice is to read up on these first two vaccines. They're both what are known as mRNA vaccines. So first get comfortable with the technology, which is really about the vaccine. The second thing I would do is I would read a little, read a little bit about, about the FDA. It is a very deliberate, precise process to get approval through the FDA. And uh, we're all confident that that process was pristine and perfect. So I would gain a lot of confidence in the science and in the process. Uh, and then people have to make their own decisions. But I, as I said, I'm gonna be on that line whenever I can. Am I right in saying that you're, you're confident that science justified the approval here and not politics? Oh, 100%. You know, I, I work at an academic medical center with scientists all around me. I have to live and breathe science, and I love it. Uh, and from what I can tell, science won. Ed Jimenez, thanks for your time. Stay safe and happy holidays. Thank you. Go Gators.